Sylvia? <gasps> She's 100 years old. She's not that old. No, she was perfectly healthy. OK, that's not how I would describe her. What just happened to her? Nothing. She died. You're saying that Anthony killed Sylvia? No, I'm His not mother? saying that. That was a really beautiful speech you gave at the funeral. Thank you. It's weird. It's totally weird. Acting weird is not a crime. He has a motive. She probably has a life insurance policy. I broke into his house and I think I found something. You really liked my mother, didn't you? Yeah. You are a lot like her. She was a little nosy, too. You promised me that you weren't going to break into any more apartments. What is all this stuff? They're plaster casts. It's his studio. Why does he have a mask of you? It's his new project. Why is he doing that? I don't know. It's about the poorest nature of identity or something. Noah can wind up the prime suspect. What if he killed somebody dressed as me? It's not a big deal. I'm your alibi. It's fine. Can your fiance be your alibi? Don't understand. This is, this is our chance. Insane. This is our this is chance. I know insane. he's involved. He has a gun. What is he doing he's with a gun, the gun collector? Here? So is Charlton Heston. Does that mean Charlton Heston killed Sylvia? So what do you think? It's unusual. Ah! Please, I'm I tired. I can't get it. I'm not the outdoorsy Wait, type. What do we do now? Run! Something evil is going on here. Something truly, truly evil. And I'm going to figure out what it is with or without your help, OK? Do you have any idea how loudly you're eating this? You know how adorable you look in that hat? He's coming! Duck! Duck! I can't! I can't duck! Oh my god. 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 While Canaries is a screwball murder mystery in the tradition of the old Thin Man movies or the Woody Allen movies of the 90s, but this genre blender is distinctly Brooklyn based co-starring director Lawrence Levine and real-life wife Sophia DeCal with a cast of recognizable indie actors, including Jason Ritter. The story follows DeCal's character, Barry, who is convinced of foul play, investigating the death of a venerable neighbor. Meanwhile, her fiancé becomes increasingly agitated. The film is currently, uh, currently playing at the uh, IFC Center in Manhattan. Joining me today in the studio uh, are filmmaker actors uh, Lawrence Levine, Welcome, Sophia Takal, and uh, actor Jason Ritter. Welcome, everybody, to the show, BK Hi. Live. Thanks for coming in. Great to be here. Uh, so we're already at the IFC Center. Yeah, mm -hmm. we opened right? last night. Yeah. And uh, it opened Wednesday. And you guys are doing uh, live appearances there? Tonight. Yeah, yeah tonight. At the 7.50 PM show, we'll be doing a Q&A, all three of us. OK, great. So, and Jason, welcome. I'll be and there. It's great that you came in. Yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah. Um, so a little bit about the film. Um, yeah, it's uh, in, it is in the tradition of the caper comedy. W were there particular films that you guys looked at that that inspired the story? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. We had been we had done a couple more serious films, uh, more dramatic and uh, less genre based. Right. So we wanted to loosen up, lighten up a little bit, and we started thinking about. I love comedies from from the 1930s through the 70s. So uh -huh. we were looking at a lot of comedy films, yeah. a lot of capers a lot of mysteries, so The yeah. Thin Man, films like Charade, yeah. we looked at The French Connection, Manhattan, uh, Murder, Manhattan Mystery. Murder Mystery, What's Up Doc, Columbo. a lot of, right. yeah. The TV show. Oh, Columbo. <laughs> Columbo, yeah. We were, yeah. we were talking about that earlier. <laughs> Should we see your impression of uh, Peter Falk again, man. Uh, I, I, <laughs> now he's on, no, he's so good at it. Uh, well, I, I have to walk, start walking out and then no, come back yeah, in. Just one more. Just one more. Like, I, these loose ends bother me. <laughs> so, and you both are acting, uh, all of you, of course, but you both are, not only mm -hmm. did you uh, produce and write and direct, but you, you, you're also acting in the film, and you're playing a couple, which it was a stretch for you guys, right? Yeah. And then, uh, which is actually not your first time, you've been playing a couple. No, played it is, couple. was our first time, in, yeah. playing oh. a couple. We've okay. been in movies We've together. We've been in many but, movies together, right, but we played Green. brother and yeah. sister, oh. and in, in Gabby on the Room of July, and right. in Green, I played like the other woman. Yeah, okay, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> um, and so, all right, so you're a couple, and you're living in this building in, in, in one of the hipster neighborhoods of Brooklyn, right? In, in, in yeah, Cobble, Cobble Hill. Cobble Hill. Oh, it's a little okay. older. Yeah, no, it's not, you're right. A little and more it's family. not so hip. No, not at all. <laughs> Quite the opposite, I'd say. And then, uh, okay, and so, and then and one of the neighbors in the building dies, 
an, an older lady. An old lady, older lady. Yeah. Uh, and 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 then you, you maybe because you have a little too much time on your hands, or maybe there's a little less excitement going on in your life at the time. You, your your imagination starts to percolate, and right. And yeah, I think maybe she's been murdered. <laughs> yeah, That's exciting. And, um, and I have to convince my Dick fiance Powell over here to <laughs> help me investigate. Okay, and you're reluctant. That's the first time I've ever been uh, compared to Dick Powell. I'll take it. I think it'll be the last two. I love Dick <laughs> Me too. I love Dick I mean, Powell. he's the best. And I love Wait, Myrna who's Loy. Dick? The guy from uh, R Man. Richard Powell. William Powell. Oh, right, oh, William, William Powell. Powell. Right. Who's Dick William Powell. Powell. He used to tell me to call him Dick. <laughs> anyway, anyway. William so, Powell, totally. <laughs> sorry, Powell family. <laughs> and, then, and Myrna Loy. Okay. Right. That, okay. So, um, and, and okay, so you're reluctant and thinking she's going nuts. And, yeah. And you and your friend, played by Alia Shawkat. Shaw yeah. Is how you pronounce her name? She's, of course, from, uh, everybody knows her from, uh, from Arrest Development yeah. and other, I'm not screwing up anymore. <laughs> Jason, uh, your character, Damien, mm -hmm. it lives in the building, mm -hmm. also owns the building, right? Yes. Or is the landlord, right? Richie and Rich. Uh, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, and, <laughs> and you become uh, embroiled. Embroiled was the word we use, yeah. He becomes in embroiled in the investigation. Yeah. Caper, right, in the investigation. Barry's. Uh, subsequent uh, uh, pursuit of the truth. Well, she really sweeps the whole building up into a frenzy with her suspicion yeah. and starts causing, wreaking havoc throughout the uh, four-story brownstone that they all live in. Yeah. Breaking and entering. Breaking yeah. and entering, spying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, who else is in the movie? Annie Paris, Kevin Corrigan, mm -hmm. Lindsay Burge, mm -hmm. yeah. who plays Jason's Ex-wife, ex yeah. Okay. Uh, Eleanor Hendricks, uh, love these people. Jen Kim, uh -huh. Kent, Kent Osborne, Kent Osborne, it's Mary Louise Burke. Burke. Uh -huh. That's, that's great. about it. Yeah. That's, that's the main. That's the main group. Graves. Yeah. I mean, check out IMDb for all the others. <laughs> <laughs> for the deep cuts. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> how, did you, right. how did you? How did you cast? Oh, end yeah, up Bob cast. Bangton. <laughs> uh, how did we end up casting Jason? Yeah, I'm losing control of my show. How did you, <laughs> how did you end up casting Jason, which was, of course... Uh, we got really lucky. Yeah. Well, first I have to say we worked with a wonderful casting director named Jessica Kelly. Okay. Um, who got the script to Jason. Excuse me, I just spat on you. Oh, I didn't. But, um, but we also knew Jason before. If you want to tell the story of how we knew each other, you can. I worked on a movie called Peter and Vandy uh, that Larry produced. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and I met them both at that period of time. Uh, we also acted together in the movie, and Sophia sat at the bar where we were hanging out and yeah. uh, had a great thing. I played an extra that he accidentally bumped into in one take, and I got really nervous. <laughs> um, so I know them for yeah, a while. Yeah, we, and we kept in touch, but I yeah. feel like since we made this movie, we've gotten closer, which is nice. Yes, I completely and agree. And he's the best, and he's so good, and it was so fun to cast, it was so fun to cast Jason in this part because I think Jason's so nice, and he plays kind of like a wild guy in this movie, and it's a really cool mm -hmm. com combination of qualities. I, and so, he's so, yeah, it's a little bit of a departure. Yeah. Sort of, right? Yeah, I would, yeah. I mean, I would say played, that, yeah. I mean, you've played kind of like, like, in that one movie where you're like kind of a bad guy? The Fred Durst oh, yeah. movie. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You're really good in that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I like good. That movie a lot. Uh, I think I talked to you about that, too. Yeah, really yeah, uh, Education of Charlie Banks. Yeah. yeah, that was really good. I saw that at the Tribeca Film Festival. You had a good career. And you did uh, Parenthood. <laughs> yeah, My a humble career. opinion. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, are you still doing Parenthood, is it the series? Is it? Uh, it's, no, it's, okay. it's, it's uh, they, the final episode of all oh. time aired. A, I think like just just last month they just they uh -huh. they decided to end it at the end of the last season and so they did give them one final season to sort of wrap everything up. So okay. it was sad, but it was it was a great it's, time. Everyone had a great time it's doing a it. Very beloved show. But yeah. here's my plan. Wild Canary is the series. Every week a, a new, new mystery? caper mystery. Oh. And you know, right? The police yeah. approach you guys after to say, "You guys cracked the case. How yeah. about you set up a little Encyclopedia Brown type uh, <laughs> one quarter per mystery?" <laughs> <laughs> My first Encyclopedia Brown reference, by the way. Okay. <laughs> I awesome. loved Encyclopedia. Um, and so it's uh, it, it, it premiered at South by Southwest last year in 2014. Two, yeah. Okay. And yeah. and it is being distributed by Sundance Selects. So mm -hmm. that's great. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. Getting, it's getting really how many? Excited. So wait, I think it, it's gonna be in ten cities. Okay. Intensity, as, intensity. So far. Yeah. yeah. We're open to more. Uh, so, but and right it's now, on Android. iTunes and Video On Demand right now. Oh, so people... So people, if it's too cold, if it, they're not in New York or they're too cold to leave the house, they can watch it in bed. Order some Chinese food. Order some Chinese food. 
Yeah. Rent the movie. <laughs> All the movies that we watched that influenced this movie, we watched in bed. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's a cozy. We we're. I was trying, trying to make to a very cozy, cozy film. Romantic. Yeah. Funny. It's a. It, you know, there's a kind of murder mystery that's called a cozy. Mm -hmm. They usually don't have. I, would you say this falls into the cozy category? It's usually like a light murder mystery that right. doesn't really have any hardcore violence or anything. Yeah. I would say usually it's that's like, not like lady, no. old ladies who are gardeners or something, yeah. and they find a clue and. That's a cozy. This is like, yeah. you know. Murder, she wrote -ish. I, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would say if, if, I, if you were watching this in bed, you could like pause and be like, okay, I think that. Yeah, it'd be ideal because the mystery is a little, uh, little complex. So yeah. you could pause it, talk to your partner. That was, that was intentional to a certain extent. It's cool. Yeah. We wanted to make it just like a little bit, a little making, bit dizzying. Making, yeah, making fun of how murder mysteries are right. often kind of nonsensical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Because, I mean, Truthfully, nobody really can. It's almost impossible to Get solve a. Well, or solve a crime. No, no, yeah. or just, yeah, to do that. And, it but, is. But tough. there is. Only there, the police are. Yeah. yeah, you have to be trained. You have to, to go to criminal crime. justice school. Yeah. yeah. Have forensic uh, science labs at hand. Yeah, how anyone solves a murder mystery without that stuff, I don't know. <laughs> You'll <laughs> have to watch and find out. <laughs> and, and watch, you should. So, so. Um, Again, we'll just remind people, Wild Canaries, directed mm -hmm. by uh, Lawrence Michael Levine and uh, co-starring uh, Sophia Tikal and, and Jason Ritter et al. Um, and they are currently at the IFC Center through at least the, the next w week. week. And uh, they're going to be there tonight live in person. You can meet these guys. They're going to be doing the Q&A after the 7... Uh, 50. 750. I'm looking for you for everything. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys. You want to co-host? Next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a no. <laughs>